Catching up with Brian Bratton after Friday's practice, uh, wide receivers coach, and has taken on the uh, the duties of the passing game coordinator. Brad was just watching the, the end of practice. It, passing game coordinator duties must be pretty good, <laughs> uh, especially when you got Ryan Miller making plays like that at the end. Yeah, I mean, I tell you, we got we got some guys who can go get the football, and, and that's nice when you're trying to design things to be the defense. It's always about players, not, not so much the plays. And uh, you got to find out what guys do well and put them in that position to, to be successful, and that's what we're trying to do in that phase. Not giving away any state secrets exactly what does a passing game coordinator do? What, what do these new duties look like for you? Well, I think um, it's just the whole picture of the pass game, you know, just kind of putting it together. Obviously, we want to complement everything our offense, is do offense does from a run standpoint, uh, formationally and all that. But really just putting it together, going over the details, making sure everybody's on the same page, you know, seeing what our quarterbacks do well, seeing what the guys running the routes can do well, and then putting together concepts that put them in the best position to be successful when are going against an opposing defense based on their coverage. So um, it's a lot of fun. It's in my wheelhouse. Um, we're really having a good time being creative, doing some things, taking some ideas, putting them together. So it's really good. You know, Ryan Miller is listed as a tight end. He's kind of a hybrid guy, obviously had just a phenomenal spring. Ryan DeLuca had a breakout spring for you. He's back. What does the rest of the depth look like in that wide receiver room? Well, you got a guy like Zach Peterson who's continuing to get better, and we're kind of pushing him to, hey, let's go. It's your time. And then uh, Noah Henderson, a guy who's been with us, but, you know, just for that last – spring season, so not a lot of time. So getting a chance to work with him, really see what he's skilled to do. Um, a newcomer, uh, Josh Harris, we're really, really excited about. He reminds me of my old teammate, Isaac West. Um, so we've got a lot of guys who with some length. And then obviously you got Dewan Bell, speed guy, Kelton Gunn, speed guy. So we've got different guys, and I think it's it's awesome that you have different type of guys. It's kind of a, a boutique position where you walk in, you got all these different things, but you find a way to put them together and make something great out of it. And you're not a guy given to a whole lot of hyperbole. So to compare somebody to, to <laughs> Isaac West, now, come on. Yeah, I mean, he's tall and long. And, and I remember our freshman year, he walked in and he just looks a lot like him. So if he can, if he can end up with a career like him, yeah. we'll be pretty so good. Looking like him and playing like him. <laughs> absolutely, things, right? absolutely. What do you hope to see out of the scrimmage tomorrow? I hope to see guys just compete. Uh, just go out and compete and have fun. Uh, execute our stuff. Uh, do it with details in mind, uh, being efficient in what we do. Um, that's what I'm looking forward to. I, I want the guys to come have fun, be confident in what they're doing, and put show, put their best product out here because they've worked really, really hard, and, and they deserve an opportunity to, to go out and show it. And uh, not just for people who may come in the stands, but for us coaches, just see how much work they put in, whether it's in their dorm studying and out here on the field because they have gotten better. They really have. All right, Brad, thanks. Thanks.